my mama call, see you on TV, sunset shit done changed Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all, ever since I was young Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm back with another mesh winding video. Hopefully, this video answers every single question that you have. Because in my previous videos, I've had a lot of questions that I didn't mention in those videos. So, hopefully, this will answer all of them. Now, this method I'm about to teach y'all is a good alternative without putting your kicks in the washing machine. It's good for the environment. You're not wasting water and electricity. And your mama won't get mad at you for putting your crusty ass sneakers in her washing machine. Now I have three shoes that I'm going to be doing for this experiment. I have two pairs of DMP 11s and one pair of Ultra Boosts. I know what you're saying. You're like, boy, why do you need two different types of DMPs? Bruh, well, one's more fucked up. And you can see their journey by how yellow the soles are. Now before we get into this, I just want to stress that you need to clean your cakes in cold water. Cleaning them in hot water will set the stains. Remember that, hot water will set the stains. It's okay to clean them in lukewarm water as long as it's not blazing hot. Here are some of the ingredients that I will be using for the restoration and here are some that I do not recommend using. So now that we have our shoes lined up and ready to go, the first thing we need to do is remove the laces and clean those separately. So for this winding method, I wanted to eliminate all of the harsh chemicals that I've used in the past because I know that if you use it improperly, you will damage the shoes permanently. So I just wanted to keep everything as natural as possible to prevent that from happening. You can call this the paleo winding method if you want. So the OxyClean Max Horse and the White Bright are the chemicals that I will not be using for this restoration because I've had issues in the past with this before. Unfortunately, it did happen to a customer's shoes. And this is what using White Bright does to your shoes if you use it improperly. I tried reaching out to the customer after the fact, but I, I didn't get a response. And it sucks because I lost a long-term client. I lost his trust. But the crazy part is, one shoe was perfectly fine, the, the left shoe was fine, but the right shoe was mostly affected. And to be honest, this is what happens when you do things that have never been done before. So I'm the one pretty much risking everything so you guys don't make the same mistakes that I do. Now that I've removed the use of Vibrite or Max Force, I've turned to natural solutions such as lemon or vinegar to help me naturally whiten the fabric with the sun. Now you're going to see me put Vibrite and laundry detergent inside of the laces with water because there is no leather or any organic material inside of the laces so everything's going to be perfectly fine. You can use white bright with all prime knit material since it won't damage the shoes since there is no leather. So in this bottle, I have a half and half solution of rejuvenator and clean water and I'm going to brush the upper material so I can free any debris, any dirt that may affect the whitening process so we can have a clean surface to work with when we whiten our shoes. This will also loosen up all the dirt embedded it inside of the material, making it rise up and exposing itself so we can further clean the mesh and whitening it. Now in these aftershots, you can see that the materials look worse because all of the dirt embedded within the mesh material or fabric has risen upwards, exposing it so we can further clean them and whiten the shoes. Now this is where the true whitening process begins. All we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our laundry detergent. Make sure that it's blue, I can't stress that enough. A lot of people are asking me, if should I do green, should I do clear? No, make sure that it's blue, okay? So make sure that your laundry detergent is a blue and then leave them out in the sun to work its magic. So I'm, all I'm gonna be doing is adding a little bit of vinegar to my mix and I'm gonna moisten the material, the fabric material so it doesn't dry out quick and then I'm gonna leave them out in the sun. Now you're probably asking how come you're using vinegar? Well vinegar has citric acid which acts as a natural bleach with the help of the sun. So I leave it out in the sun for about a couple of hours and then I rinse them to make sure all of that dirt comes off. Now since this is just the first step, you're not going to notice a major difference but if you continually perform these steps, you will notice that your fabric material will become whiter. Now if you want to conserve water, you can have like a bowl of water next to you and then do this. But since California ain't in a drought anymore, yay yay, it don't really matter. Now a lot of people are going to be asking what kind of brush are you using? All I'm using is a soft bristle brush, but for those with tougher materials, I would just use the all purpose brush. Guess what day it 
Now nice. that they've been fully rinsed out, we're going to repeat this step until you're fully satisfied with the results. Now for those of you who are questioning how come I'm only strictly recommending blue laundry detergent to wind your shoes, here's an excerpt from uh, Mrs. Stewart's or Mrs. Fields uh, website of why you need blue dye to wind your fabrics. So there's about 300 shades of white, believe it or not, and the brightest of all whites has a blue hue to it so that's why when you open like a brand new pack of uh, Kirkland t-shirts from Costco they, they, they look in a little blue that that's like the whitest of all whites because it has a blue hue and throughout time it fades so what I'm doing is I'm reintroducing that blue hue to make your kicks look white again like coke white again that's pretty much all I'm doing is I'm reintroducing that blue dye that was once in your shoes that's why it's looking a little dingy looking a little yellow because that hue is gone, I'm just putting it right back. It really depends on how beat the shoes are. As you can see, the one that has a more clear sole is whiter than the one with the more yellowed sole, just due to how beat up they are and how, you know, how used, how often they've been wearing the shoes. <laughs> I'm pretty much going to repeat the steps over and over again until I'm satisfied. So this pretty much concludes the video. There's really nothing much to it. Just blue laundry detergent like I said. And use lemon or vinegar to your advantage because that is a natural uh, bleaching agent. Um, you know, when my, when my grandmama used. If, she using it, if she's using it, hell, that shit works. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it is very informative, please give this video a like. It helps me in the long run exposing this video, putting in people's recommendations so other people can watch it. And please be sure to comment down below. Um, I'm, this video is just going to keep rolling on for like another minute or so, me doing the same thing. So if you guys want to keep watching, keep watching. If not, just skip like a couple, couple seconds ahead to, to see the final results. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.
What's up, y'all? If you guys enjoyed this video, man, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. If you guys want me to restore a shoe for you, my email is down in the description below, or just head out, look right there in that uh, bottom right corner. It says Manalo Restoration, so check that out. Send me an email. I right, y'all. hope your day is as beautiful as you are. Alright, fellas, that's how you get them. After you send it to a female, make sure to get the number. Alright, wait.